crucial. It was a very significant victory over fascism in Britain. To me, it has a deep personal significance. A mile away from where we stand today stood a young woman alongside thousands of local people, trade unionists, socialists, communists, Christians, Jews, Muslims, people of all and no faith. They stood here and it was told to me in great detail with one simple aim, to stop Oswald Mosley and his fascists marching through the East End. One woman stood there along those many, with many others and she told me all about it. That woman was my mother. She stood here along with so many others. We all do, that's free from xenophobia and free from hate. Um, I'm actually looking out for other members of my synagogue. We're part of a synagogue in uh, North East London and we wanted to celebrate one of the more important parts of Jewish history in London. And uh, like the last you've just spoken to, I do a lot of work in the area of migration and the thing about Cable Street was that it marked a moment in the history of London in which all sorts of communities celebrated the fact that they could come together to oppose the sort of appalling policies that now seem to be coming back into fashion, particularly with the current government. believing in equality, um, born and brought up in this country, yeah. just seeing this, people united, it's phenomenal, it's absolutely phenomenal, this is what we need to see in London. And do you think the message of Cable Street from 1934 and There's no place for it here, is there really? Racism, there's no place for it in this, I think this is quite clear the message today, the amount of people that have turned up, I think it's quite clear. Please for the day? Yeah, well, it's good, great. Right? I think it's amazing. It's a, good it's a real good tonic, and it's a real nice atmosphere, isn't it? So very diverse crowd. It's kind of. I, I said that at the start. It's, it's fantastic and intergenerational as well, and it's kind of. Um, and you know, and no matter what we think, 1936, Battle of Cable Street. That's a big historic day, really, isn't it? That changed a lot with regards to protest and the way people think. So, you know, but and in those days. If I was walking down here in 1936, I can imagine I would be getting a different reaction <laughs> as a, a copper. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's important to challenge racism in all its forms, and it's good to remember the those that struggled way before us, and to mark these occasions, uh, especially at the time when there's an increase in racial attacks. It's, it's really important that we come out and protest and show solidarity with other groups. Thank you very much. in the same building in Wapping, Al Tawali and myself in 1978. We worked in the garment factories that time. So in the morning I went to my my work and he went to his and on his way to the uh, park Al Tawali which is named Al Tawali Park where he the uh, racist uh, attacked uh, Wakat and they uh, stabbed him and he he was killed and then we had uh, not only that, we were very terrified. We uh, lived in Wapping. Uh, always in the morning, we get the morning bus to go to the work. But when we come back in the evening, always in the bus stop, the boys was congregating and they were attacking us, you know. And we were always terrified that what's happening in the evening when you go home. And I've been attacked also a few times, but uh, luckily I have survived. Can you tell me a little bit about why you're dressed up today? or? Well, because you've got to dress your best when you're going out the bash to fashion it. I 
wanted to come to this to show the continuity between what happened in the 1930s when people like us, people dressed like us, looking like us, uh, came out in hundreds of thousands to stop the fascists marching through the East End. Um, and now, uh, the parallels I think between the 1930s and now are in some ways frightening. But I think we also should celebrate and remind ourselves of the fact that we can restock them and we can stop them again. <laughs>
who struggled then with honour, with pride, and make sure that we never cease to proudly stand up to defend each other against any attack that takes place. We will not be divided. Our solidarity is total. Our unity is complete. For we want a world where there is unity and peace, not racism, xenophobia, poverty and division. Thank you very much.